บ้านโรมัยแห่งพระคุณมาก่อนนะคะและหนูขอบคุณบ้านที่คอยช่วยเหลือโดยไม่ขาดสูงและยังฝึกอาชีพให้หนูติดตัวอีกด้วยค่ะอย่างเช่นได้เย็บกระเป๋าได้เย็บกระเป๋าหลากหลายรูปแบบเย็บเป้ถักทออายุ18ย่างข้อ19ค่ะแล้วก็มีลูก3คนแล้วก็ติดเหล้านะคะแล้วก็งานไม่ทำแล้วก็กินแต่เหล้าแล้วก็ได้แต่ทะเลาะระแวงทุบตีค่ะแล้วก็หนูก็เลยตัดสินใจที่จะออกจากบ้านแล้วก็ที่จะไปสักที่ที่หนึ่งที่ไหนก็ได้ค่ะที่ก็แล้วก็มีให้ลูกกินมีมีที่อยู่อย่างเงี้ยไปเจอค่ะป้าคนหนึ่งเขาก็ก็เขาก็แนะนําให้ไปที่โรงพักแล้วก็ไปถามตํารวจเขาก็ตอนแรกเขาแนะนําให้ไปอยู่ที่สงเคราะห์พอไปทางที่สถานสงเคราะห์เขาบอกว่าเขาไม่รับแม่และเด็กเพราะว่ามันมีที่ว่าบ้านแม่และเด็กที่จะไปอยู่มูลนิธิได้ก็ตัดสินใจที่จะไปอยู่มูลนิธิแล้วก็ค่ะแล้วก็ได้มาอยู่ที่นี่ We've had some incredible testimonies of God just touching these women over the last six months, as it has been over the last few years since we started Haven. This has really been um, step by step with God leading us. You know, each case is different, and each family situation is different. They each come with their own unique challenges, and you know, our our desire first and foremost is to be able to keep the families together as much as possible. So even though the father may be out of the picture right now, or you know, whether that situation can be restored or not, um, we want to at least be able to keep a mother and child together. Often, what happens here in Thailand is in in situations like this, the mother and child are. Forced to be separated because there's just not a program that can support both of them together. Women who need help will often be required to put their children in a child in a children's home, either the government or other foundations, and while they receive help, or if the mother is unable to work and provide for herself, um, she has very little options, and so is is advised to put her child in in children's homes for better care for the child. So this is a heartbreaking situation for many families, and. We just feel like this is not. Uh, if we can prevent this from happening as much as possible, um, there's a better chance of these families being restored, and there's a better chance of the same pattern not being repeated down the track. So, our goal is always to keep the families together. And you know, some of these women have two children, three children. เจ็ดปีคนเล็กหนึ่งปีสี่เดือนค่ะหลายๆอย่างที่พลอยต้นเจอเองเพราะว่าพลอยไม่ไม่สามารถเอาชนะด้วยรบพลอยแต่พลอยก็เชื่อว่าพระเจ้าจะทําพลอยให้พันในจุดที่พลอยต้นเจอ It is incredible to see that within five months she Is happy. She is working already. She's been learning how to make coffee in the coffee shop. She's also done most of the workshops. She's just really applied herself to all the things that we've been teaching. She also has accepted Christ. She came to us one day, saying how she was feeling just troubled. Her background, her grandfather and her parents were very much involved in witchcraft. They were actually the witch doctors of the village, and they passed away when she was 13. Anyway, she shared this background with us, and we just prayed for her, and we just shared the gospel with her. We said, "You don't need to be under this. When you accept Christ, you are no longer under these things. You are set free from them." She received Christ that day with us, and since then has been really just hungry. She'll be if if there's any free time, you'll see her sitting around, you know, reading the Bible and just soaking it all in. And since then, you can see a new life and a new joy in her, and that's only something God can do. Only God can truly free the heart, and this is the unique thing about Haven of Grace. We are in partnership with Jesus for these women. We believe that He loves them so much, and He has seen everything that they've gone through, and uh, we're just amazed to see how God's bringing these ones into into our path. Another quick announcement is mm. uh, just to clarify some things. Yes. Um, we made an announcement earlier this month that we're actually resigning from the directorship of ATM. Mm. But we need to clarify 
that Haven of Grace is a separate project. This was founded and initiated by myself and Dakota directly mm -hmm. as we felt the Lord lead us to do. Mm -hmm. So we will continue that. That mm -hmm. is what we feel is our passion and our calling to minister to families in our community. Um, so we just want to assure you that uh, we're not letting go of this project. This is very mm. close to our heart. Um, we're needing a, a larger daycare facility. We're mm. needing uh, more land to be able to grow our own food mm. so that it cut, cuts down costs of food. Mm. Um, we will need more facilities for mm. workshops for the bakery especially. Mm. The bakery is taking off and it can become yeah. a real source of income. Mm. I mean, there's so much ahead of us yeah. and we're really excited because yeah. we can see God leading and opening yeah. the doors. So continue to stand with us and uh, know that you know, we are we're continuing with this wholeheartedly. We believe that we're going to see a lot of growth and opportunity. We need to be able to provide mm. jobs and a source of income. And so mm. we need a bigger property for that. So please be praying and believing with us for that as we begin mm. to look for the land. Um, we're looking for land that has good mm. soil to be able to grow food, mm. to be able to set up uh, these, mm. this bakery factory and also the handicrafts mm. uh, workshop to be enlarged. And so, Thank you for standing with us and uh, we look forward to sharing with you the next six months to a year um, to see the progress of Haven. If you want more information, please email us. Our email is still the same, atmdoisaket at gmail.com. Uh, next year we will be changing it, but we'll let you know. Thank you for your partnership and thank you for continuing to give. Haven of Grace has the uh, tax deductible in Australia and you can donate on this bank account.